Today we'll do another episode of Let Me Judge and today's battle is gonna be between Hongo, or called Julian Maze, if I pronounce that right, versus Adrian. Both really good athletes. Adrian, I would say more into the statics. Hongo, a little bit mix of both. This battle is from Street Worker Ultimate Battles from 2023. I hope you're ready. Let Me Judge is back. And like I told you, three times per week. So I hope you're ready. I hope you have your popcorn. I hope you have your drink. I have my Red Bull right here. And let's get started. Hongo is starting. Hello! 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 To a giant first. Look squid. A giant. Ooh. What? That was so clean. That was, so, what is it called? Like King 540? So clean. First, I was saying, like, I was thinking, then, you know, swing to swing, and then, boom. Okay, that was, was a good power move. Let's go back a little bit. Here, look, look, look. <laughs> so clean. Double 360. Nice. Full planche push up, not a hold or really hold. Yes, good. This is Masula. Ah! To Hefesto. Rip. Clean. Nice. That was a great round. You have these two dynamic moves. Or three, I would say. You have the uh, King 540, then you have the double 360, you have the, the, like the small giant, I don't count that as a dynamic move. But then you have that Visit Muscle Up, not like to the Hefeso, it, it's a cool transition to the next move. Then going to a plan, full planche push up, boom, and then holding, clean. Not so many moves in one combo. The flow gets a little bit interrupted, but still, we'll see what Adrian brings here. Let's go! He seems to enjoy it, at least. Full planche. Oof, deep. Hold that. Okay, no hold yet. Archer. Three planche push up. To press. Yes, there's the hold. Nice. To Victoria, clean, clean. Hey. <laughs> ah, well, ah, I don't know if that was whole. Let's go back. Wow, ah, barely a hold, barely. <laughs> That's a hole. That's a hole. Archer from here. Pull up. Nice. Nice. Okay, so overall, I think Adrian did a better round for the first round, but there's different. Here's, there was a straight bar and here's P bars. But overall, you know, the statics and the power dynamics, the combination in the end is higher. But Hongo risked it more. He risked it with that King 540, which is insane. It's super good. Clean, clean, I would say clean planche push-ups, clean archer push-ups, holding that after everything like the press could be improved a little bit, but yeah. And the hold for the wide planche or uh, Maltese. I don't know really like, if this is wide enough. Mm. Ah. Anyways, let's see what Hongo brings on the P-bar because so far, if I only judge from this, I would still give it to Adrian. Nice. Strong. Oh, switchblade on the P bars. Oh, he's losing the power now. You can see how he shakes and then holding fully. Clean back lever pull ups and clean one arm. Oh, another hold. So, here I would say that 
Hong is missing a lot of holes, you know, in the end when he's tired. Of course, when he's tired, he's tired, but still needs to improve that. You're in a competition amongst the best of the best in the world, you know. Uh, you can't be lacking in the holds for this, like the second 45, the second 45 second round. <laughs> so I would say missing a lot of points there with the holds in the end. Let's see what Adrian does on the high bar. Double 360, nice. Shrimp flip. Nice. 540. A little bit transitions to wide full play oh, not a hold not a hold <laughs> pretty good but still you know look here let's go back for the hold okay up that one two okay ah. Ah. Or I even forgot how to count. You know, start from zero when he let go. Zero, one, two, three, so on. Okay. That, look here, we don't have a Maltese here. It's still a wide planche. The shoulders and the hips are too high up to be called a Maltese on straight bar. You can see when they really do the Maltese, the shoulders are like in the line with the arm, like the hands. Here, the shoulder is so much higher than the hands. Let's go. With not a hold. So he's also missing the holds here. So overall, I think it was a uh, good, but I think, you know what? I, I think Adrian will win this. Do too. I, I have seen this battle live. I can't remember the results, but the first round, it was super good. You know, doing his combination, good flow to next move, to next move, to next move. And then, then also the high bar, he didn't do any crazy, you know, oh, like, a, like the King 540, like risking that move, but still solid double 360, shrimp flip 540, super clean in a combination, in a flow, then with statics. So overall, a better combo than Hongo on this straight bar. Both of them lacked in the last round the holds, but overall, I see Adrian winning this. And uh, yeah, that's why I think Hongo needs to improve in his flow of the combinations. So here's what I say. I say Adrian wins the dynamics. Adrian wins the statics. He wins all the categories, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, but yes, he does. Oh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Replica. replica? No, 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 there's no replica. Ah, it seems like Adrian won this. Uh, they based that on points. Oh, if it's 2-2, two, two, they count the points and then see, okay, who wins. So, Adrian is the winner. I think it was fair. It was a good, uh, Adrian deserved that. He was solid, missing some holes, missing some points there. If he went against a um, like harder opponent, he, like, that could be the loss for him due to the not holding enough, not holding the small stuff, you know. But also he's doing the wide planche twice, which is not necessary, it's not the Maltese really. Ah. Anyways, that was a good one. I hope you enjoyed the Let Me Judge. We're gonna smash through the swoop first, not all the battles from last year, and then we move on to this year's swoop. And then we'll see what we do after that. I hope you enjoy, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that, and I'll see you in the next video.